אשכול. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have another whiskey review for you today and I'm continuing the Nika series. Um, today I have the Nika Pure Malt White. Um, this is a blended malt whiskey, so not the same as a blended whiskey, which is a blend of different malts and different rice. This one is a different malt whiskey, which means that there's only malt in it, of course, but it's a blend of different kinds of malt. Um, <clears throat> they have kind of a whole series of pure malts uh, at Nika. Uh, I already did one. Can't remember the name, but e either it was Wednesday or on Monday I did the video. And they also have another one that's called Black. I don't have that, so I'm going to have to buy that and make that um, the video about that uh, later on. But for today, as I said, it's the white one. Looks like this. Hope you can see it. Um, it cost around 380 Danish crowns. That's about 38 or 40 uh, pounds and maybe 45 euros dollars give or take a little bit and this is for 50 centiliters so a little bit more expensive uh, it's 43 percent alcohol and unfortunately it is chill filtered and unfortunately it is colored so what do i expect of this um this small sample cost 60 danish crowns so quite an expensive sample this is only three centiliters for 60 danish crowns pretty expensive so i have high expectations of this actually um yeah let's just jump right into the nosing and tasting uh there's no sponsored content in this video and as always everything on this channel is just my opinion yeah yeah first off there's some peat smoke, there's some maritime, some ocean influence, definitely a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Color is dark amber and um, medium to heavy leg. Peat smoke. Ocean influence. Definitely. The peat smoke is dominant, but there's no mistaking the ocean influence. It reminds me of some of the whiskies from the islands of Scotland. Some. F yeah. From Isla, from different kinds of isla islands over there. Um, it's the same peat and the same ocean influence. There's no sharpness there, but it is quite um, powerful in the aroma. Maybe there's a little bit of nuts there. And then in the back, they're more softer uh aromas like a little fruitiness a little sweetness yeah yeah very good very good nose it's good So the palate, there's a little bit of sharpness at the palate, but not a lot. And then it is um, quite powerful, actually, with peat smoke and the ocean influence. Um, the finish is mouthwatering. 
buttery, oily, um, but also powerful. And it has peat smoke. But there's also some of that sweetness, honey sweetness, kind of, and um, a little bit of fruitiness. This is actually very good, very, very good. I think, unfortunately, that, well, my whiskey guy, the, where I buy whiskey and rum usually, didn't have, was out of stock of this, so, but this is very, very good. Just like I said before, ocean influence, peat smoke at the palate. The palate is a little bit sharp and powerful. Um, the finish, mouthwatering, oily, uh, also powerful with peat smoke. Hints of uh, fruitiness and sweetness. Mm. So this one is the best Nika that I've tasted. The more whiskey I drink, the more I find that I'm actually very much into peat smoke. But at the same time, uh, I really, really like uh, Speyside. So that's my whiskey uh, preference. The 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 fruity um, sherry. Uh, well-rounded uh, Speyside whiskeys and then especially Isla uh, whiskeys the Lagavulin and Lafroig which is absolutely amazing but I al also very much like Highland Park and some of the other islands but the more I drink the more sure I'm becoming that 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 these are my favorite kinds of whiskey. Um, yeah, right from the get-go, I didn't really enjoy Campbelltown as much, and I didn't really enjoy the Lowlands as much. Um, the Highlands, there's a lot of good whiskeys there, but as I said, my favorites are definitely Speyside and from the Islands. Yeah. Well, that was a side note. I'm still talking about the Japanese Nika Pure Malt White. Um, and um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to be putting this as at a 9 because I just think it's very, very good. Um, a little bit more expensive than the others, but this is very good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nine for the Nika Pure Malt White. That's where I'll put it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. Also, leave a comment down below. Uh, that would really mean a lot to me and I will respond to all of them. Um, uh, what's, yeah, please check out my Instagram account. It's don't got underscore. If you like what you see there, just give me a follow there as well, If you, but only if you want to. Um, hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. And next week, a friend of mine is it's, uh, shipping some Swedish whiskey. Uh, and I hope they arrive in the next week so I can do some videos about that. Or else I will be uh, buying some more Japanese whiskey to review. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, hopefully Monday... So uh, keep an eye out, hit the bell button, the notification button, so you don't miss uh, miss out if it's not going to be Monday, maybe Sunday, Tuesday, hopefully Monday. That's what, what my plans are for now. So yeah, I will see you in the next week. Bye-bye.